Hello everyone and welcome back to another Specimen Spotlight. We are at the St. Louis Zoo today in St. Louis, Missouri, looking over some more clips that we have from the River's Edge section of the zoo, including the amazing spotted hyena. I was really excited to see these guys because I had never seen hyena in real life before, and we saw them right after the painted dogs, and I was really surprised at how similar they were, even though they are a very distinct species. Their ears were so big and round too, so I really didn't expect that on hyena that they would have these big cup ears. And then right next to the hyena, we saw an absolutely gorgeous cheetah. The cheetah totally took both of our breath away. It is so hard to describe how beautiful its fur was, how just gorgeous the movement was, and it was an extremely shy animal too. The cheetah that we saw was really happy to stay back in the bamboo, and that was totally fine. We would get these little glimpses of it as it would walk by, kind of calling out and sniffing another cheetah that was right behind its exhibit. So that was so much fun and we walked along the river's edge and admired all of the different educational sets that they had set up for all of the kids. Um, I actually got to touch an elephant femur that they had on a table and I was so excited for that. And a few minutes later we wandered over to the Asian elephant area and saw our very first Asian elephants. Most of the elephants I have ever seen before have all been African elephants which are the much bigger cousins that are obviously from Africa compared to the Asian elephants and we were really surprised to look it up and learn that actually with Asian elephants the tusks are only on the males and you'll actually have African elephants where the tusks are also on the females. So in this case, this turned out to be one of the little boys. Well, I guess he's not so little, but one of the males that they had at the St. Louis Zoo. And when we looked up more information about him, we found out that his name was Raja and that he is 24 years old and was born in the zoo and that his mother Pearl was actually somewhere back in the exhibit. And at first we didn't think the exhibit was that big because we were just in one little section. And then as we walked along the path, we realized the Asian elephant definitely have tons of room to play. They have waterfalls and ponds. There were so many different feeding stations. Raja spent most of his time eating tons and tons of hay that they had put out for him and it was so much fun just to see him use that really dexterous little nose of his, which again, I guess isn't so little, and gather up all the hay and shovel it into his mouth. He was really relaxed. There was a lot of noise going on and he was just very, very happy to sit there and focus on eating. So we had such a wonderful time really just getting to watch him move around. We saw some of the other Asian elephants eventually start coming out from the back. They have a whole wooded area that they can enjoy. And it was just such a special moment to really just sit back and be able to admire all of these beautiful creatures. And I'm so glad that I was able to share the opportunity with you guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed learning a little bit more about the animals that we saw today and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.